The plugin from graphicextras.com contour tool now is not a standard contour tool. I mean, it's not, will not create a perfect contour. So if you're expecting a contour that's like, right, I've got this design here. Now, obviously, a contour tool that would create a true contour would actually just create it there, 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 etc., etc., and obviously just keep going in depending on the contour. Now, there are applications out there that, such as Corel Draw, Zara, and those sort of tools. I've got wonderful contour tools. Well, this one is more actually a, a scaling tool as well as a point shifting tool than a, a true contour tool. So if you're expecting a true contour tool, this plugin is not exactly what you want. Right, I'm just going to quickly show you the sort of thing. I've actually created a slightly more complicated shape than, say, like a, than a basic square or a circle. So I'm just, just creating that sort of more like a jagged design here. Right, I'm just going to go to the object menu. That's where now in CS5 you'll find all the various plugin filters and contour. And now the default one, I'm just going to show you this reset. So you can reset there. It's got presets. And you will actually see now, it's actually just, it's scaling the design. So you can, it will just shrink design. That's a rapid way of shrinking. So I'm just going to quickly go to the contour. Just quickly show you scaling. So you can just quickly see the designs there. Now it works perfectly well when it's like a more regular shape. But obviously with this sort of design, it, the lines cross over each other. Well, that's just the way if you, if you duplicated the design and then you would actually create a similar sort of design. Well, I'm just going to go through the various presets. So I'm just going to quickly show on the right side you will find presets so you can just see the different possible designs. I mean there's thousands of other possible designs that you can create with this uh, thing. So there's different line effects. Now maybe that's a slightly more contour-like effect. That's more like a curved contour effect. And that's obviously a, using the various swatches different things and anyway they, basically the, the the actual presets just use various settings here so i'm just going to go to quickly show you again there's a, a drop down here which goes through various sort of ways of applying the uh, the contoured scaling so let's drag so it creates a closer one but again like i say it's not going to be a perfect contour it's not going to be like you would expect from a standard contour tool so if you're expecting that like i say this is not going to be it. But there's many op different options to create different interesting contour-like effects. Right, next thing, one of the things that uh, you can also do is go to the points section. There's a point section which actually, instead of using scaling, actually just moves the point to the center. So I'm just going to quickly show you that. And so you just click on the number of points and that obviously again moves the shifts the point to the particular center now it's sort of basically the same as scaling but uh, it's not scaling it's just using the points instead and then again there's different settings as well so you can various different contour effects again it's not a standard contour but uh, random ones so you create a sort of more noise effect And you can change the interpolation of the uh, the points to the center point as you wish. Rotate past center, blah, blah blah, all that sort of thing. Right, different styles you can apply different styles. And depending on the ordering of the paths, you obviously will see those or not. Again, like so I quickly show you the, some of the fill paths. So there's some of the effects you can do with the uh, various fill fill to black. Okay, and obviously it depends if there's actually a, there's actually no fill, so you can't actually do that. But if there was a fill, it would actually display it. And I could actually quickly show you that, so I'll just get rid of that. Put black, I'll just go for pink, then object, filter, contour, and you can just see to black, random colors, random swatches, to swatch, so different various color effects. So you can apply the, a pattern, so you create from the center, 
actually two different pattern designs. So anyway, this this plugin can create thousands of different designs, but uh, say if it depends what you're actually expecting from the plugin, the sort of effects you can get. But that's the sort of range of different effects. You can click here, tumble, go through different different designs. All right, cancel that. And the plugin is from graphicextras.com. It's a contour plugin, and it's uh, volume 18.